Hello students, today we will discuss about the external feature of the cerebrum. So when you will have the cerebrum in your hand in your dissection hall, you will have the following external feature. First is the poles of the your uh, cerebral cortex, then the surfaces, borders, sulci and gyra. In today's session, we will discuss about the first three things that means what are the poles of the cerebral cortex, surfaces and the borders. For the sulci gyri, we have a separate session. Now when we will have the poles, there are three poles and there are three surfaces of a cerebral hemisphere. So in this image, you can see that you are able to see the cerebrum from the side. Now in this image, what you are able to see is this is the anterior end of the cerebrum, this is the posterior end of the cerebrum and in the cerebral hemisphere, you will find a, a small part in the lower area. So this is known as your one pole is the frontal pole, this is the another pole is the occipital pole and this is the temporal pole. So there are three poles and in the same way you will have the three surfaces. So let's discuss first about the poles of the cerebral hemisphere. So as I already told you there are frontal pole, occipital pole and temporal pole. So let's see one by one the each pole. So first is the frontal pole. Now frontal pole of the cerebral hemisphere is also known as anterior end of the cerebral hemisphere or the cerebrum. Now as the name itself suggests this frontal pole is the anterior end of the frontal lobe and it lies opposite the medial end of superciliary arch. So when you will see the norma frontalis you know that this is the superciliary arch and near the medial end you will have the frontal pole. So this is the norma frontalis and you can see that this is the superciliary arches and these medial end of the arches are related with the anterior end of cerebral hemisphere which is known as frontal pole. Now in this video clip you can see that this is your frontal bone. So if you will hide this frontal bone you are able to see the frontal lobe of your cerebral hemisphere and these ends are known as frontal pole or anterior end of the cerebrum. Now you will have the next is the occipital pole. Now occipital pole is the posterior end of your cerebral hemisphere and you know that this is the occipital bone and on the occipital bone there is a bony prominence is known as external occipital protuberance. So this occipital pole lies near the external occipital protuberance of your occipital bone. So in this image, this point is your occipital pole or the posterior end of your cerebral hemisphere. Now the third pole is temporal pole. Now this temporal pole fits into the anterior part of middle cranial fossa. So this is the very important question for your exam that apart from the anterior and posterior end, you will have the temporal pole and what is the position of the temporal pole? So temporal pole is seen in the middle cranial fossa in anterior part and the pole is overhung by the lesser wing of sphenoid bone. So my dear students when you will have the cranial cavity and when you will see the open cranial cavity you will find this type of the image in the cranial cavity. Now this is your lesser wing of the sphenoid and here you will find the temporal lobe or you can say the temporal pole of your cerebral hemisphere. So this is your temporal pole and this temporal pole in upper part is related here with the lesser wing of sphenoid bone. So that you can appreciate in this video clip that when you will have the normal lateralis and if we will remove these bones of the normal lateralis, you are able to see that there is a temporal pole and above the temporal pole you can see that this is a outer border or you can say this is the line of your lesser wing of sphenoid which overhang on this area which is known as temporal pole of your cerebral hemisphere. Clear? So now we will move to the surfaces of cerebrum. Now when you will have the surfaces as I already told you the surfaces are also three in number. So first is the superior lateral surface. Now this superior lateral surface is a large surface of the cerebral hemisphere 
which is convex in most of the area. Now, if you will see, it is facing upward and laterally. That means you will have this cranial vault and this superior lateral surface basically follow the curvature of your cranial vault and it lies between the two borders of cerebral hemisphere which is superior medial and inferior lateral border. So whenever you are having the cerebrum in your hand and the surfaces which you will find on both the side of the cerebral hemisphere are basically your right and left superior lateral surfaces which lies just deep to this cranium. So here in this image you can see that this hole is your superior lateral surface. Now this is your anterior view of the cerebrum where you can see that this hole is your superior lateral surface. Clear? Now the important thing is that this surface lies between the superior medial and inferior lateral border. So where is the superior medial border? So this border is your superior medial border and this border is your inferior lateral border and in between them this surface is your superior lateral surface. Clear? So when you are holding the cerebrum in anatomical position, you will realize that this major portion of the cerebrum is related with the superior lateral surface and this surface is extend between the superior medial border and inferior lateral border of cerebral hemisphere. Clear? Now, the another surface is the medial surface of cerebral cortex. Now, this medial surface is seen only in the mid sagittal section of the brain and when you will cut the uh, brain in the sagittal plane, there are two similar or equal half and basically when you will cut this part of the in mid sagittal, you are going to cut a C shape structure also and this C shape structure is your corpus callosum. So what is the most important identifying feature of the medial surface that you will find a C shape cut section of the corpus callosum. Then the another important thing is that this surface lies again between the two border. So this is the superior medial border which is the border here on the upper part and there is an inferomedial border. So this is your inferomedial border. So this surface is present between the superomedial and inferomedial border. It is seen in the mid sagittal section and in upper part that means above this corpus callosum here you will have a fold of the dura which is known as fox cerebri. So what are the features of the medial surface? The most common feature is the C-shaped cut section of corpus callosum and the upper area is related with a dural fold. Now in this image you can see that these are the two superior lateral surfaces and this is a sagittal plane area where you can see that this fold is going inside from both the side and this area is occupied by this fold of dura matter is known as Fox cerebri. Clear? Now we will move to the next surface is the inferior surface. Now when you will see the inferior surface, this is the important thing that inferior surface is divided into the two part anteriorly orbital surface and posterior larger tentorial surface. Now what is the line of demarcation? The line of demarcation is lateral sulcus. Now when we will see the sulcus and gyri, I will tell you the different part of the lateral sulcus. Here you will have one part of the lateral sulcus is known as stem of the lateral sulcus. Now in this image, you can see that this is the lateral sulcus which is visible from the superior lateral side. But its stem is going inside and medially and this stem which is present here is going to divide this whole surface into the two part anterior orbital and posterior tentorial part of cerebral hemisphere. So inferior surface is divided into the larger posterior tentorial and anterior smaller orbital part by this stem of the lateral sulcus. Now this stem is going deep medially and it is dividing this surface into the two part. Clear? Now here when you will see the inferior view of your cerebrum, you can see that this is the stem of your lateral sulcus. Now this hole is your inferior surface, 
but this inferior surface up to this temporal pole that means your stem of your lateral sulcus is, is related with the orbital plate of frontal bone in the floor of anterior cranial fossa. So this part is known as orbital surface. Now this remaining portion is known as tentorial surface because it is related with the tentorium cerebelli which is again a fold of dura mater. So when you are having the inferior surface you have a line of demarcation which is known as the stem of the lateral sulcus. Anteriorly you will have orbital surface and posteriorly tentorial surface of cerebrum. Now we will move to the borders of the cerebral hemisphere. Now when you have the borders, some book says there are three borders, some will say still there are six borders. So what are the names of these six borders? Superomedial border, superciliary border, inferolateral border, medial orbital border, then inferomedial or hippocampal border and posteriorly medial occipital border. So let's discuss these position of the borders one by one. First is superomedial border. Now as we have already seen the different surfaces, these border divides these surfaces. So superomedial border actually known as upper border. It is actually the upper border of the cerebral hemisphere and this extends from the frontal pole to occipital pole. So it is present on the parallel side of your Fox cerebri on both the side and this starts from the frontal pole and it is going posteriorly till your occipital bone. So from anterior end to the posterior end on both the margins of cerebral hemisphere you are having a border is known as superomedial border which is a upper border and you know that on both the side you are having the cerebral hemisphere superolateral surface and from this border your medial surface will start. So this surface separates the superolateral surface that means this surface from this inner surface which is the medial surface of cerebral hemisphere. Now here this is what you can appreciate that here you can see the position of your upper border or this upper border is known as superomedial border and this surface is the superolateral surface and this surface is your mid medial medial surface clear now the next is superciliary border now this superciliary border lies behind the superciliary arches so here you will have the superciliary arches and this border separates the superolateral surface from the inferior surface and you know that anterior part of the inferior surface is known as orbital surface so this surface this border separates the superolateral surface from the orbital surface. So in this image, this is the inferior view, view. Here you can see that this hole is your orbital surface. Now in this orbital surface, where is your superciliary border? So this is your superciliary border. Now this superciliary border is actually demarcating the anterior end or anterior margin of the orbital surface. So this border is separating the superolateral surface from the anterior part of inferior surface which is known as orbital part of cerebral hemisphere. Now we will move to the infrolateral border. Now infrolateral border lies between the temporal pole to the occipital pole. So now you can see that from here to here this part is known as superciliary border. Now behind that this remaining border is known as infrolateral border. So this lateral border is actually divided into the two part. Here you will have superciliary border and this is your infrolateral border. So what is the two surfaces lies on both the side of this border but obviously this is your tentorial surface of the inferior part and here again you will have the superolateral surface of cerebral hemisphere. So it lies between the temporal and occipital pole and it separates the superolateral surface from the tentorial surface. So now here you can see that this whole inferior surface is separated from the superolateral surface on the lateral side by a two borders, anterior part is known as superciliary border and posterior part is known as infrolateral border of cerebral hemisphere. Now here you will have one very important point that this infrolateral border 
is showing a notch and that notch is known as pre-occipital notch which lies 3 cm in front of the occipital pole. Now this is the important thing to understand that in this image you can see that this is your border and here you will find the notch. So from this posterior end this notch distance is roughly around 3 cm. And what is the name of this notch? Pre-occipital, before the occiput. Clear? So these are the important thing to understand that this whole lateral border which is known as infrolateral border separates this lateral surface from this inferior surface which is known as tentorial surface and posteriorly it is having a pre-occipital notch. Then there is a one more border is inferomedial border. Now this inferomedial border is also known as hippocampal border which surrounds the cerebral peduncle. So where is the cerebral peduncle lies? Cerebral peduncle is actually the part of the midbrain which occupies this area between the two cerebral hemisphere. And here you will have the parahippocampal gyri on the inferior surface and these parahippocampal gyri contains the hippocampus. So this part is known as inframedial border and on in the midline you will have a part of the midbrain which is known as cerebral peduncle. Now here in this image it is clear that this is the medulla then this is the pons and above the pons this green color area is your midbrain. Now this green part of the midbrain is known as cerebral peduncle and these cerebral peduncles are in relation with this inner border of the cerebral hemisphere which is actually the inframedial border and it is also known as hippocampal border. Now then medial occipital border. Now medial occipital border but obviously present posteriorly in the midline because it is related with the occipital lobe. So it separates the medial surface of your cerebral hemisphere from the infratentorial part of the occipital lobe and here you can see that this small portion is known as medial occipital border. So what is the name of this part? This part is inframedial or the hippocampal border and this part is known as medial occipital border and this hole is your tentorial surface. Now this medial border separating this posterior part of the occipital lobe from the medial surface of your cerebral hemisphere. So in nutshell if you will draw the position of inframedial border in this image where is the inframedial border? So this hole is your inframedial border and this inframedial border is having this part which is known as the hippocampal border. This is known as medial occipital border. So basically this border is separating this whole tentorial surface from this medial surface. And this border is the medial orbital border which is separating this part of the medial surface from this orbital surface. Clear? So medial border in some books divided only in the two part anteriorly medial uh, orbital border and inframedial border. Some book divide this whole medial border into the three part medial orbital, hippocampal and medial occipital border. But in nutshell you have to understand this thing that whenever you are talking about the surfaces, borders and poles, the position has to be very clear in your mind. There should be no confusion that this is the superior lateral surface, this is the medial surface and this is the inferior surface. The inferior surface is further divided into the two part anterior is smaller orbital surface and this larger is the tentorial surface of cerebral hemisphere. So now at the end of this session, I hope you are having the orientation of the different surfaces, pole and borders of the cerebral hemisphere. In the coming part of this session, we will discuss about the different sulci and gyri of the cerebral hemisphere. Thank you.